In our previous opacin trial, uh, comparing adjuvants to neoadjuvants, ipilimumab plus nivolumab, uh, we saw a very high response rate in a neoadjuvant arm. Furthermore, we observed in general in older patients a very high grade 3 4 toxicity rate of 90%. So, therefore, the aim of the current trial that was just presented at this ESMO was to identify a dosing regimen of the combination of ipilimumab and nivolumab that was better tolerable but had the same efficacy. In this study, Patients with high-risk stage 3 melanoma were included. They had to have at least one measurable lesion according to Rhesus 1.1, and they all had lymph node metastasis. This multi-center investigator initiated a phase 2 trial, a randomized patients between three dosing regimens of the combination of ipilimumab and nivolumab. In arm A, patients were treated with ipilimumab 3 mg per kilogram plus nivolumab 1 mg per kilogram, the standard dosing. In arm B, it was with low-dose EP, so ipilimumab 1 mg per kilogram plus nivolumab 3 mg per kilogram. In both arms, it was given for two cycles. And in the last arm, patients were treated with a sequential scheme of first two times ipilimumab 3 mg per kilogram, and then directly followed by two cycles of nivolumab 3 mg per kilogram. The primary endpoint of this trial was the grid 3 4 toxicity rate within the first 12 weeks. In arm A, we observed that 40% of the patients developed one or more grid 3 or 4 adverse events. In arm B, this was only 20%, and in arm C, this was 50%. Um, this was much better than we observed in our previous trial, and we think this is because we only gave two cycles now, and we lowered the dose of the epilimuma. When we look into the response rate, we see that the response rate is preserved. In arm A, we saw the same response rate as in our previous trial, a pathologic response rate of 80%. And in arm B, this was almost the same with 77%. And arm C, is that? This was uh, 65%. Well, with this new information in mind, what is the planned expansion, follow-up? What are your next steps? When we see, look into all the patients, we see that none of the patients that achieved a pathological response has relapsed until now. So this is very promising, although the median follow-up is still only eight months. Um, we have to wait for the follow-up data, but we think that the schedule that was tested in arm B, which is ipilimumab of 1 mg per kilogram plus volume of 3 mg per kilogram, is very attractive to test in a randomized phase 3 study compared to adjuvant anti PD1 therapy. This study was, uh, had a very fast inclusion, and I think we analyzed the data, and it was really a team effort. Especially for the pathology data, they were revised by two pathology teams in Australia and in the Netherlands Cancer Institute. And we think that we have now very reliable data, and that was really a Team, team efforts to get all this data together so fast before this ASMO presentation.